there's no one in the night to blame you No one in your glasses of wine I never want I only tamed you Foolishly I called you mine And you're pacing your cage every morning And you rattle your Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect 2. Last time we kicked the shit out of the Collectors, so let's see what Tim's got to say about it. Shepard, good work on Horizon. Hopefully the Collectors will think twice before attacking another colony. It's not a victory. We interrupted the Collectors, but they still abducted half the colony. That's better than an entire colony, and more than we've accomplished since the abductions began. The Collectors will be more careful now. But I think we can find another way to lure them in. I wondered if you had something to do with that attack. Caden said the Alliance got a tip about me and Cerberus. I released a few carefully disguised rumors that you might be alive. They were written on the bathroom wall. I see. What were you trying to prove? I suspected the Collectors were looking for you, or people connected to you. Now I know for certain. It was a risk. But I couldn't just wait for them to take another colony. You understand? Uh, no I don't. We have to make sure they don't abduct anyone else. I want the Collectors stopped for that very reason. That's why we're doing this, Shepard. I'm devoting all resources to finding a way through the Omega-4 relay. We have to hit them where they live. Your team will need to be strong, as will their resolve. There's no looking back. The same goes for you. Can I assume you've put your past relationships behind you? None of your damn business. If it affects the mission, better you should leave it behind. Shepard, once you find a way through the Omega-4 relay to the Collector homeworld, there's no guarantee you'll return. To have any hope of surviving, you and your entire team must be fully committed to this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me worry about them. You just find us a way to the Collector homeworld. I just want to be upfront about your odds. You'll need everyone at their best. I've forwarded three more dossiers. Keep building your team while I find a way through the relay. And be careful, Shepard. The Collectors will be watching you. What do you want, Jerry? I guess we're really gonna do it. Hit the Omega-4 relay. Take the fight to the Collectors in person. Looking forward to the action. After seeing what those bastards did on Horizon, though, Makes you think. They're powerful, but we've got a few tricks for them. If anyone can stop them, we can. No argument there, Commander. Horizon just made it hit home. What we're doing, what we're up against. Gonna go take care of a little unfinished business. I imagine everyone else is, too. Getting some closure, you know? What's up, Martin? Shepard, how can I help? Are there any medical concerns I should be aware of on the team? Cerberus personnel in excellent condition. No squad concerns to report. Always some matters, but nothing affecting immediate mission. Have you got a minute to talk? Yes, would like that, actually. Talked about work earlier. Time with special tasks group studying genophage. It wasn't entirely honest. Lie of omission. Also, other kinds need to clear the air. Mission too important to keep secrets. Work on genophage was more than just study. I had a feeling you were holding something back. Apologies, classified information, but you've earned the full story. Need to know me, what I can do, what I did. Wasn't lying completely. Initially just did recon, but uncovered data. Troubling. Krogan population was increasing at faster rate than expected. Krogan were adapting to genophage, overcoming disease. Did the Krogan evolve, or did some of their scientists develop a treatment? Krogan scientists? <coughs> Never met Krogan scientists worthy of term. No. Natural evolution. Krogan physiology incredibly durable. Organ redundancy, backup systems, cellular regeneration. Genophage, like any other natural hazard, Krogan evolved past it. Maybe they were just having a lucky year. Or fewer mercs left, meaning more Krogan were left to repopulate. Please, Shepard. Social environmental concerns accounted for. Not an undergraduate. Population spike caused by adaptation to genophage. 
No other possibility. Awesome. The genophage was a terrible mistake. It nearly destroyed the Krogan and their culture. Now they have a chance to recover. Naive viewpoint. Krogan too dangerous to allow unchecked birth rate. Look at Krogan rebellions. Personally led a science team. Geneticists, chemists, sociologists, mathematicians. Created new version of genophage. Released it on Tuchanka, other Krogan-centric areas. Restabilized Krogan population. You never considered other options? Hundreds. Thousands. Modified genophage offered best outcome. Stabilized population, avoided publicity that could incite Krogan anger, averted potential genocide or devastating war. Best solution for whole galaxy, Krogan included. If the Krogan are so dangerous, why not just sterilize them outright? Not a war criminal, not a murderer, genocide unnecessary. Krogan as a whole, violent, aggressive, still have outliers worth saving. Genophage modification protected galaxy, allowed Krogan chance to survive. Everyone wins. Good for us, good for them. I doubt you've told many people about this, Morden. I appreciate you letting me know. Wanted you to know I'm willing to do what's necessary. Should get back to work. Talk more later. Next time, tissue synthesis has to compile. Good for free time. I saw the reports on Horizon, Commander. What you did was amazing. The report mentioned that Caden Alenko was there. How did that go? There's no option for, I don't give a shit. It was good to see him. Do you have strong feelings for him? No! We had a job to do and we did it. I understand. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Operative Lawson would like to see you at her station on the crew deck. Operative Taylor would like to see you over in the armory. Anything else, Commander? And that's Kelly's way of telling you that someone has a loyalty mission available. So we'll get to some of that. Your private terminal. Incoming message from Admiral Stephen Hackett, Alliance HQ. Commander Shepard, I need to discuss a sensitive matter with you privately. I'll take this in my quarters. Call me. Just this morning I received word that the Batarians arrested her. They're holding her in a secret prison outpost on terrorism charges. I need you to infiltrate the prison and get her out of there. As a favor to me, I'm asking you to go in alone. What's Dr. Kenson actually doing out there? She's a deep cover operative, Shepard. We talk only when we have to. I'd heard she was investigating a rumor of a Reaper artifact in the system. Her last report said she'd found it. What else can you tell me about the operative? Amanda's a top scientist and an Alliance agent working in Batarian space. It's a deadly assignment, and she's one of the few up to the challenge. She and I go back pretty far, Commander. I won't let her run away in a Batarian torture camp. I thought the Alliance denies the Reaper threat. That must be some proof she found. Kenson's team found an artifact out in Batarian space. She believes it's a Reaper device, proof that the Reapers are indeed planning to invade. I've known her a long time. If she says she has proof, it's worth checking out. I have a hell of a squad with me. I'm sure they'd help out. Kenson is my friend. If the Batarians see a squad of armed soldiers, they'll kill her. This is serious, Commander. Go in with discretion, or don't go at all. No, oh, okay. The Batarians won't take kindly to the Alliance breaking into a secret prison. This is not an Alliance operation. It's one person going in alone to save a friend. If it were an official mission, of course the Batarians would be upset. You keep this quiet, Shepard, and there's nothing to worry about. I'll make this a priority. The prison is hidden underground in a Batarian outpost in Aratat. 
I'll upload the coordinates now. Once she's secure, confirm her discovery. We'll debrief you when you're back. Got it. Hack it out. And by priority, I mean we'll do this after the game is actually done. Ah, feed my fish. Hey, Commander. It's, uh, pretty crazy the people you can run into out here, huh? I mean, it was probably a setup or something, but it was still good to see Caden, Staff Commander Alenko, wasn't it? Another reminder of how I lost more than time. I don't need this garbage. Right. Understood, Commander. I assume everything's going well up here? Shh! 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 Joker? I can tell when it's listening. I am always listening, Mr. Moreau. I know. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Thank you, Commander. Rupert put the new supplies to good use. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Ah! Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. And that's the most common response you'll get from Garrus. We'll see what B is in Miranda's bonnet. Shepard. I find myself in the unpleasant position of asking for your help. Everyone else in the galaxy does it, why not you? But this is important. Miranda, you're one of my crew. Tell me what's on your mind. My father was extremely wealthy. He wanted the ideal daughter and he paid a great deal to genetically tailor me. When I learned that my father was more interested in controlling a dynasty than raising a daughter, I left. How'd your father take that? He was less than pleased. Several of his security guards were injured in the process. He knows not to come after me. But this isn't about me. I have a sister. A twin. And he's still hunting her. Cerberus has kept her safe. Until now. She's living a normal life on Ilium. Safe and hidden from my father. So you think your father's tracked her down? Precisely, Commander. My sources indicate he knows that she's on Ilium. I've tried to keep her hidden without impacting her life, but I'm out of options. He's too close. I need to relocate my sister's family before it's too late. And introducing the newest NPC, Miranda's ass. What do you know about your sister? She's my genetic twin. We're identical. But she deserves a normal life, and she's going to get it no matter what. Did your sister's family know about this? Are they okay with being relocated? They know nothing. They're completely uninvolved. Normal. I told Cerberus and they're coming up with a positive reason to move the family. What do you need me to do? My father is extremely persistent. I'd like to go to Ilium when Cerberus is moving the family to make sure none of his agents get too close. My contact's name is Lantea. She'll be waiting for us in the lounge near the Nurse Astra docking bay. Shepard. Grunt. Just checking in. Making sure you're acclimatizing. <laughs> I was just... <laughs> just sitting here thinking. The picture. I'm finally starting to get it. There's a tank imprint. The battle at Canrum. A dead Turian. Stripped. You don't see them out of their armor much. A Krogan boot on his head. And a claw hammer. It's under the brow plate. Pulling it back, right? Eyes have gone black, and you see tension in the muscle. You can feel it ready to snap. I get it. Canrum isn't ringing a bell. Death of Shiagar, female warlord. Turians killed her, so they were hunted down and made examples. Even if they won the war, it was the last push before the rebellions ended. Maybe I had to be there, but I don't get the joke. There's no joke. It's just great. It's a Turian, and he's being torn apart for what they did. I felt nothing before, 
But now I get it. It was a good fight. The enemy was destroyed to punish them all and send a message. I get it. I hate Turians. I thought you'd be glad. Um... Don't start anything with Garrus. I won't have trouble on my ship. I don't hate Garrus. I hate the Turians. Garrus is just one Turian, and he's your clan. No point in ripping his face off unless he turns on Oh, that's pragmatic. It's hate, but it's mine. Okir was blind, and he tried to make me the same. But I'm starting to feel what they did. To see why I should care. Anyway, I'm still figuring where I fit, but it made me laugh. Nothing else really on my mind, Shepard. Always nice talking to you, Grunt. Garrus put some crazy tech into the main guns. It's almost doubled their power draw. But they seem pretty wicked. Indeed. Don't worry. A few tweaks to the forward capacitors, and the balance is back in line. Hey. Tell me about you, Jack. What are you up to? Still checking out your ship. Wouldn't mind putting her through her paces when you're not around. Go ahead! I doubt Joker would appreciate that. At least not while we're working. Relax. Joyriding doesn't have the thrill it used to. Besides, if I wanted it, I'd take it. That's so... Uh, I've been around. Ran with gangs, wiped out some gangs, joined a cult. Kept the haircut. That I'm explains it. And not be a victim. It's hard to imagine you in a cult. That usually involves a lot of rules. I was looking for answers. Drugs and sex and going to a better place. A better place, right. It Hell, you can get that on my ship. They wanted to take a colony, shake the suckers down to fund their spread, and guess who was their ace in the hole? They were just like the rest. Didn't give one shit about me. What'd you do when you found out? What do you think? Doesn't sound like you're doing much living. Not for yourself. What do you know, Cerberus lapdog, military stooge? You do nothing but live for other people. Everybody wants something, and because of that, everything is fair game. Murder, assault, kidnapping, drugs, stealing, arson. Done it all, and that's the boring. Piracy, theft of military craft, destruction of a space station, and vandalism. That was a good one. We've done all that shit. Terry's a hard target. Bet that made you some friends. Shouldn't have left the thing unlocked. Besides, parades are boring. I helped. A space station? You're pushing what I can believe. Ain't saying it was easy. Not everything is spur of the moment. Sometimes you gotta work to give people what they deserve. Had some people I hung with for a while. Outlaw colony. Felt like they were like me. Guess that made us a nice target. Turians think they know something about a scorched earth response. Fuck them. You were a pirate too? Ties in with the kidnapping. If you hijack a passenger ship and don't kill everyone, anyway. Good lesson. Simpler to just kill them all. I'm surprised you'd even mention vandalism in that bunch. That's what the Hanar call it when you crash that space station I mentioned into one of their moons and make a new crater. They really liked that moon. <laughs> Do you ever wonder if you could have done things differently? No. Shouldn't you? There's no reason I should be alive, but I am. You know why? Instinct. It's worked for me so far, and I'm not gonna change. Hey, Shepard. No one's ever asked me about this shit. It's strange to talk about. So fuck you. And thanks for asking. You're welcome. And fuck you, too. This mission takes me back. Tough fight on horizon. I fought slavers and kidnapping rings, but nothing like that. Some slavers took a little girl on a colony in the Skepsis system. Girl woke up, fought her way out, got picked up by my band well on her way to Omega. Eight years old. She'd have had no chance on horizon. Jack. Subject Zero, whatever you call her. Hell of a girl. 
could have used a destructive little bitch like that ten years ago when we dropped blind into the Krogan DMZ. Took out a lot of Krogan that day, but we lost way too many men. All right, that's going to do it for this episode of Let's Play Mass Effect 2. I'm Subponicate Poster. Join us next time.